Drawing Arcs. Let's take a look at how to draw an arc. The arc tool can be found here in the draw panel. Let's go ahead and pull down this menu. And as you can see, there are many methods to draw an arc. By default, the three point is the way that AutoCAD sets its arcs. Let's go ahead and make sure that's selected and let's try and make an arc. The command line tells us to specify the start point of the arc. We'll go ahead and do that. Now we gotta specify the second point. I'll click here. Now we go ahead and specify the end point of the arc. You can keep moving around this way or you can bring it around and we'll be creating a circle or an arc in the opposite direction. Let's try a different method. We'll go ahead and try the start, center, and the end. I'll specify the start point. I'll specify a second point. And now I can go ahead and specify the end point. And as you notice, the way this arc is being drawn is in a counterclockwise fashion. And if I move around and around, that's the way the arc is being drawn. Now, if you want to have the arc being drawn the other way, all you have to do is hold the control key. And the arc is now drawn in the opposite direction. So let's go ahead and keep the control key held down and we'll draw almost a complete circle. Let's try one more method. This time, the start, the end, and the angle. I'll go ahead and specify the start point. I'll specify the end point. And now I have to specify the angle. I can move the cursor around, or I can read and specify the point of the arc or the angle down here in the command line. I'll just go ahead and make an arc like this. As you can see, there are many methods to make an arc, and wherever one you last choose will be the default method for your arc tool. So if you want to make arcs with the start, end, and radius, whenever you activate the arc command, this is how AutoCAD will bring up the arc tool.